Hello and happy Friday everybody! Welcome to my Friday video. Today I'm painting a cute puppy and this is what I like to call a Palettendreckbild, which means I'm having remains of acrylic paint from other paintings and I just slap it onto a certain canvas until I see something and then I make a painting out of it, like a full blown one. On this uh, painting here it was layer 2 that you just see me put down right now where once I was finished I saw something and what I did what I saw is this cute puppy that I'm going to paint here and just uh, complete layer by layer by layer to have it look cute and nice and well kind of cartoonish too um, I did uh, from that point on use pretty much um, the colors that I wanted for this painting and not so much the rest of color for that I had made from, from other paintings. Uh, instead I started a new palette like uh, that I'm currently working on. So uh, this is just really layering acrylics uh, like again and again and again on top of each other until I get what I want. So um, I like to have sometimes the really abstract paintings with these palette and builder but more often than not I want something to look as if I had planned it though it's just my subconscious that gave me the idea for the motive there. And um, that is why I make sure that well, the, the fur tone for the puppy is correct with the light uh, ochre or yellow ochre, whatever you want to call it, and that the ears and the shading is a bit darker and that this is done with Van Dyke brown and um, a bit of a skin tone to have a reddish thing going on as well. Um, so I'm having a bit of blue here for, as a color remain that I thought, oh, I'm gonna I, or I could have the puppy actually have blue eyes and uh, making him look cutesy or comic -y in another way but then in the end I decided now I'm just gonna go for the black eyes and uh, get rid of the blue ones but um, I tried it there and wanted to see if I liked it and well I did so I'm giving it a background uh, of a tallow green with a bit of mixing white so it has different shades of green but it looks like there's a uh, meadow or some grass in the background that is out of focus and I really liked that so here's uh, the last part I'm covering up the blue eyes and uh, just turn them solid black and uh, I'm being very careful with uh, the way I paint here because I don't want to screw up the last part of it. I just want to cover the blue paint completely and then here in real time you can see how long it actually took uh, to get those very small parts of the painting, the black eyes with the white reflection in there. This is the last part of the painting and I decided to have it in real time for you. I'm just giving it um, a reflection because well the sunlight is going to reflect into the puppy's eyes and for that I did use titanium white which is opaque and um, very very white. <laughs> There's creamier whites out there but I did decide on the titanium white because I wanted it to be a very heavy highlight uh, which sets apart from the white in the eyes in the background which has a teeny tiny bit of skin tone and a yellow ochre mixed into it so the highlights actually do stand out. I hope you enjoyed watching along. If you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments section below. If you want to know um, what, uh, well, what exact colors I used for painting the poppy or if you want to see close-up photos if you maybe want to buy this piece and are interested in what the price is hop on over to my webpage the link is in the description box below and you can find all of that information there I will see you tomorrow with a new vlog episode so you can see behind the scenes stuff of the studio 
And uh, I thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. Do all the good YouTube stuff, like, share, subscribe as per usual. And I will see you very soon. Have fun, everybody. Bye-bye.